Hey what's up guys it's BrainCCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the all of the rally commanders. Um, I'm going to be talking about the conquering ones which would be the, for attacking cities and also attacking barbarian forts. So this is going to be a guide to all of the commanders that you need to be able to take out the uh, enemy cities and um, barbarian forts or any sort of forts in general. So before we get into this video, I'm asking you guys to subscribe because I make daily tips and guides for Rise of Kingdoms. And who doesn't want daily tips and guides for Rise of Kingdoms? So um, with, with getting that out of the way, we're just going to get right into our rally commanders. So our first commander we're going to be talking about is Minamoto. So Minamoto is a commander that is that is a cavalry peacekeeping and skill, so he doesn't have any rally in general any rally um skill trees uh the skill tree can also be used for rallying which i actually use him for but he is more for a barbarian fort so if you guys are attacking barbarian forts then i'd suggest using him as a primary because uh of south side whom we're going to talk about in a second but as you guys can see i use him for neutral rallying commanders uh, next time I level him up, I'm going to put him into here so I can increase the rallying for ne for neutral units. And also, I put a lot of skills into or talents into his um, skill tree. So um, I, a lot of people like to use a cavalry tree, but um, I'm going to explain why uh, when I uh, because we're going to talk about um, Sao Sao next. So for Sao Sao, the reason why you don't uh, why I would suggest using him for a cavalry instead is because unlike Minamoto, he doesn't have a skill tree. So he has a mobility instead of a skill tree. And this mobility tree is okay. Like if you guys want to use him for speed on the battlefield, I wouldn't suggest doing it because he's a legendary commander. So I'd suggest using it for cavalry because he is one of the best PvP cavalry commanders in the game. But we're talking about rabble rally commanders. So... Um, how is he good for rallying commanders? So I'd suggest using him against neutral units uh, for uh, barbarian forts because he has this um, increased damage to barbarians. Uh, this also, I'm pretty sure this also applies to uh, barbarian forts as well because of they are both neutral units. So I'm pretty sure this is um, as this is this works as well for barbarian forts. Um, I haven't heard any otherwise. I'm I'm like like 90% sure that it works for barbarian forts as well. Um, and also Minmoto has this skill as well. And the reason why Minmoto and Sousa are good together is because they have a high damage direct damage factor. They have the same 1,400, and this is this can do a lot of damage on top of their 50% and his. 50% as well when maxed out, but I don't have yeah I, I haven't bought Minamoto out all the way So this is only at one, but still it's also good for attacking rallies, and that's why he is good for um, Attacking barbarian forts and using him in rally, so I'd suggest using Minamoto in Sao Sao if you guys are going to attack um, Just barbar barbarian forts, and they aren't good for cities because they don't have any um, they don't have any skills or talents that are good against cities and we're going to be talking about city commanders as well in this video okay so this is cpo or cpo um so he is a uh you don't see him generally use it much for attacking cities he's generally good for attacking cities um unless you want to use him as secondary for um a rally because against a barbarian fort because he has um he can uh have a troop bonus but i'd suggest using him if you guys are in the early game because he isn't that good later in the game because this there's other legendary commanders that are pretty much improvements of this and he and even with the increased um troop capacity it doesn't uh add to the capacity of the rally only this one single uh, army he also does seven percent damage against governor cities so it's not really the best um, he also has some other skills that, um, like, that also help, but they're not really, uh, in, they're not really for, uh, uh, attacking cities in general. So, I'd suggest using him in early game if you guys don't have any high legendary commanders, 
but yeah, I just wouldn't suggest using him. Uh, but this is only for city, so I wouldn't suggest using him for um, the for rallies because he doesn't have very many skills that are good for. I don't mean rallies. I meant to say barbarian forts is not very good for barbarian forts. So next we have Frederick. So Frederick is um, also leadership, conquering, and skill. He is not attack like Hannibal was, but he does have skill, this talent tree. But if we're going to talk about him using him for rallies, I'd suggest using him for conquering. Um, he isn't the best out of all of the conquering rally city commanders because uh, I'm gonna, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you who is the best for attacking cities and for attacking uh, barbarian forts. So he has regular skills like a direct damage factor and and healing factor. This one is looks very similar to Hanbold's, but that's beside the point. Uh, this does a damage bonus of 10% to other cities. This is what makes him a conquering commander. Um, this is better than Scipio's, which was only 7%. So this is a 10% uh, in, uh, 3% increase versus Scipio, and this is why Scipio is also better for earlier game because there's legendary commanders that are better than. But in early game, it takes a while to be able to get legendary commanders up. So um, then he also has a troop capacity. This isn't huge. This is also like um, Scipio, where he has a 10% troop capacity. Uh, he's also, this commander is also a lot like Caesar, which I will also be talking about for rallies because his skills are very similar and I, and they're not that good for cities. Um, just because his skills aren't directed towards cities in general, like all of his skills, but he does have decent skills for, um, cities. So you can, you still can use them if you want to when you're attacking other governor cities. And also his expertise just pretty much increases his first skill, which pretty much just makes it 100% chance. But I'm not doing a video guide on Frederick, but I've told you pretty much everything he has about his attacking governor cities. Now, of course, you don't want to use him for um, attacking uh, barb forts because he doesn't have any skills that are good for barb forts. I don't think I need to explain that anymore because you guys pretty much get the point um, this far. Now Caesar, I was just talking about him not that while long ago. So he, like I said, is a lot like Frederick, and I'll show you guys why. Uh, he also has the same skill as Frederick with 15% um, troop capacity, and this isn't great for rallies. I already explained this with CPO, but if you guys don't really understand, it's just it increases the armies. Like if it has 200,000 units in it, it would increase it by 15%. That would make it like something like. 250% I'm not going to do the exact math because I don't know but it pretty much increases that but it doesn't increase the rally capacity so it only increases the number of troops in that army instead of the entire rally um, uh, there is Mehmed that does do that with rally capacities but I'm going to be talking about him later in this video so and then he also oh, I didn't mean to click talents uh, so he also has a 10% chance to reduce the defense of for three seconds so this isn't that good of a skill it's okay um this is one of his um gov uh attacking governor city skills um and it's not the best i and then he also has this regular uh additional damage reduction damage taken all that stuff that's about caesar again i'm not going to go too much in depth but he is not, he's okay, he's like Frederick, he's, he is better than epic commanders for rallies like CPO, but he isn't, uh, what you would, he isn't better than all of the commanders I'm going to talk about in this video, um, there's one in particular that I think is really good, uh, and that is Mehmed, I'll be talking about that later, like I said, but... That's pretty much all about Caesar. Of course, he has leadership, conquering, and attack. Um, he wouldn't be good for neutral units. I'm not. I don't. I don't feel like I need to explain that anymore. Now, by bars, bay bars, whatever you want to call it, he is very interesting because he is a speed commander, but he has this one attacking city skills. It's a lot like CPOs, where it's 
some percent attack and some percent defense except it has an extra seven percent defense but I would not recommend him because he only has one skill that is for attacking cities his other one is March speed um, this is like when you want to attack farmers this is that's the only thing it's good for and then also attack of cavalry units okay this is okay I would suggest using him with C with uh, with uh, CPO in early game as well. So if you guys are going to attack uh, other cities, then use him or Osman. I will also be talking about Osman in this video. And then he has a area of effect, which is also not related to attacking cities. So Vivars is a very weird commander because he has you can pretty much build him as an okay commander this way and an okay commander this way and they don't cross path barely at all so he is not that good um i use him for because of his last skill which is increase the march speed when he's at uh 50 when he's at um uh for 10 seconds after upon leaving the battle okay yeah so um, this is good for hitting farmers, but, and then this is good for when attacking player versus player. So, Vibars is just all over the place. Um, I don't need to talk too much about Vibars, but, yeah, you get the point of him. He's, he's kind of weird. Okay, so for Osman, he's a little bit, he's a lot like CPO, but he's more, but he's different. So, the reason why he's different is, well, He's, a, he's like him because he has this 10% troop capacity that's like CPO, but he but for his um, attacking other cities, after 30 seconds, the attack bonus is 15%. So usually a regular attack is 30 seconds uh, without a reinforced rally. So un unless he's being reinforced over time, it's um, he can increase the attack for 120 seconds uh, for after 30 seconds. So, if it's if it's like a constantly reinforced rally, it is kind of it is if it's like a constantly reinforced rally, this can kind of be helpful, but it's not that much of an improvement. Be but like if it's if it's lasting more than thirty seconds, it can be kind of helpful, but it's it's not that great. Um, this is his only conquering uh, skill. This one is a direct damage factor, which is where his skill um, tree comes in. So, and then also after skills used, deals damage of 200. Um, so this is just an additional direct damage factor. Um, yeah, so it's like every other turn, it's he does extra damage. He is also good for early game, not late game at all, because uh, you have better uh, better commanders than this. He is also like Bybars where he's kind of weird, but he is more towards conquering, which I kind of like. But he's also like CPO. So yeah, it's it, he's he's I, I would suggest using him for cities, uh, not barbarian forts. And yeah. Now Hannibal Barca. So Hannibal Barca is a also a city commander, as you can see with his um, leadership conquering and attack. There, he doesn't have any skills that are good for against neutral units, so I wouldn't suggest using him uh, for barbarian forts. I'd suggest using him against governor cities, and the reason why I say that is because he has some great skills that are um, for governor cities. Um, as you can see, um, uh, well, he has a conquering uh, skill uh, build, but he has really good skills, not just for rallies, but also on the battlefield as well. You can use them in a lot of situations. But he is also a late game commander because he costs a lot and you have to be VIP 14 in order to max him out. So he is probably not good for early game because he's not very high up and you'd also have to get to VIP 11 in order to uh, get his get him at least. So um, he has very good skills. You um, There is videos on Hannibal himself because there's a lot of things to talk about for him. So I'm not going to too much depth, but he does have very good skills, and as you guys can see, this one is good against other governors' garrison and 10% chance to do a healing factor um, of slightly wounded um, when attacking governor cities. 
So this is one of his conquering skills. So you can also build him as a conquering commander as well. Um, and yeah, so that's, yeah, but then he doesn't have very many other skills that are good against um, cities. And, but they're just good in general because he has very good skills. Okay, so this is the last commander we're going to be talking about. Uh, Mehmed. So Mehmed is a very good rally commander for other cities, and I'm going to explain why. It's mainly because of this one skill, um, and also this other skill, but it's not for cities in general. But this one, it can increase the rally capacity by 10%, which would make it, if you have a full castle that's 2 million, it can increase it up to 2 million and 200,000 uh, and depending on how high your alliance tech is of uh, rally capacity it can be up to 2 million and 500,000 but this gives a 200,000 bonus of rally capacity that can uh, be in the rally and this can give a huge buff because uh, when you're attacking a structure or something uh, it can only hold 2 million so you have an automatic advantage over that structure so this can be really helpful when we were attacking flags and stuff. This was used by one of our leaders and it was quite helpful. So also he has some other area of effect. He's like Bybars because not just because he's from, uh, yeah, he's just like Bybars. No, not just like Bybars, but he has an area of effect kind of like his skill uh, that Bybars has. And then he has this really good damage bonus of 20%. And skill damage bonus of 20%. So if you have his skill, which is at uh, 1,100, and then he also has, with expertise, it's 1,300. This can give a skill bonus that can make it somewhere around, uh, let's say, uh, like it can be up to 1,500 direct damage factor. Which is also huge, and then also over that span of attacking them, this commander can also um, can also have an attack over that whole uh, period by this attack bonus. So also he has a 10% chance to do an additional damage to garrison, which is another skill that's good for attacking cities, and which mainly makes him a conquering. And then this one, he can also be used for attacking. Um, uh, he can also be used for attacking. Uh, barbarian forts as well um but he is generally used for attacking cities because usually when you attack cities you um it's usually full and it's constantly reinforced but when it's just a rally it's usually like half full or it's not always full because it's not planned and it happens all the time so they are not it's not best for i mean he's still good don't get me wrong for attacking rallies but if you want to use him i mean not rallies barbarian forts but if you want to use him to his full potential then i'd suggest using him for attacking cities and yeah so i i think Mehmed is one of the best attacking for cities um now after we finish this video i i need now we have the combo who is best for attacking cities so i'd suggest using Mehmed as your main with his conquering build um on cities for this is a city build and and as main and then using hannibal as your backup because hannibal has really good skills and then he also has a troop capacity bonus and damage bonus for three seconds um after using the skill so he also has a 10 percent chance to heal those units which is also helpful and then yeah i already talked about hannibal but they are I'd, I'd say, out of all the rally commanders, I'd suggest say that those two are the best for attacking cities. Now, for attacking um, barbarian forts or neutral forts, um, I'd suggest using Minamoto as main because he has his uh, neutral um, peacekeeping build for barbarians. And then on top of that, he also has his skill bonuses that also come with um, him attacking other neutral um uh other neutral um forts and then also you uh have sao sao backing up minamoto and um yeah so he is 
And then also Minamoto has some, I mean Sao Sao has some cavalry buffs. And people seem, it seems like whenever they reinforce the rally, they send, seem to send um, uh, uh, cavalry. So this can also be helpful uh, if you have uh, Sao Sao and Minamoto uh, with their cavalry skills. And then also Minamoto has a 10% chance to increase the damage taken for five for five seconds so he i'd suggest this i'd say that they are the best and i see them most commonly used when attacking forts um and i think if you are in later ish game you would have already seen as well that, that, that people tend to use minmoto and sao sao um so if if you didn't if you saw some commanders that you think should have been in the video but weren't there's three ways that they didn't get into the video. First of all, I might have forgotten them, and I forgot that they're good for rallying. And speaking of forgetting, you can also use um, a, a Lohar for attacking other other uh, barbarian forts, or um, as well as Boudica. She's also good because they have some uh, uh, attacking buffs uh, for um barbar barbarians but they also have a healing buff that that they give um the commander that can also heal them but it's not 100 percent necessary i'd still stand by minimoto and sao sao but i forgot to add that in and then another way i could forget commanders is um i don't know enough about them so that's only for two commanders that is that would be on this list three actually because oh four because these two I have never gotten my hands on Saladin, uh, and Constantine does not come out in the game. Alexander the Great, I have not gotten to play with him at all, and he just came out not that long ago, and then, a, the, I'm not going to try to say that, but I do not, I have not tried using her. So those are the only circumstances when, and then also the last one is, I wouldn't suggest using them for rallies. So, those are the three ways that they could have um, not gotten on the list. Um, if they, if I missed anything, then make sure to tell me in the comments because I could make another video uh, about talking about more commanders, a part two on this. So I would like to hear if I missed anything. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I enjoyed making this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.